Cole Fogel here on A Healthy Balance, and I am here with my good friend Hugo, who I have not seen in many years. We've been chatting online for quite some time, but he is a busy man. He is the owner of Pizza Rock, which is a pizza chain that you'll see all across Taiwan right now. Not all over Taiwan yet. Ah. We only have from the north to the south, mostly on the west coast, in the okay. big cities, and in Kending, but uh, not yet on the east coast. So we still have to uh, expand in Ilan, Hualien, Taidong. So hopefully in the next uh, few months or year. My first question, Hugo, is where are you from originally? Montreal, Canada. That's the French part of Canada in Quebec. But uh, I'm I only stayed there until I was uh, 16. At 16, I ran away from home, hitchhiked all the way to Lake Louise, Vancouver, Vancouver Island. And then after that went back, finished high school, then just moved out west and I lived in Lake Louise for uh, two years. Uh, in 2000, I was doing rock climbing and I met someone who told me like, oh, there's great rock climbing in Taiwan. And I was in Taiwan after uh, two weeks, mostly for rock climbing, did a little bit of teaching. And, yeah, but for me, the big, the big story when I arrived here, the first time that I landed in Taichung, I was like, okay, this is just, this is not for me. Because I went from big national park, beautiful nature, wildlife in Canada to concrete jungle, and it was so in, it was too intense. And I stayed only four months, and I promised myself there's no way that I'm going back to that place. But as soon as I left, I started missing you know a lot a lot of aspects about Taiwan that I didn't realize at the time when I was here that that were just amazing and that fit my personality, the fast pace of life. Uh, riding the scooter, riding the motorbike, being able to do something completely different. And I came back and I was like, I, I just started documenting every place that I would go. Just write about it, take pictures, and started Taiwanese Secrets, which until today is still, uh, is still online, yeah, getting a lot of traffic. Yeah, so if you want to get some good information and some good secrets about Taiwan, check out TaiwaneseSecrets.com. Yeah, and I will put a link below as well for that. What inspired Pizza Rock? The first memory that I have in my life is sitting next to my mom, on the, on the counter, next to my mom, like cooking, you know, either soup or making a cake. And I remember like vividly the, the, the spices, all the different colors. And she would ask me to, to help her, like super young. Like my mom's world is cooking. Or she's transferred her passion for, for food and recipes and healthy cooking and all this to me. And uh, my dad's side is uh, Italian. We value good food, we value family time, enjoying a good meal, good wine. But to go back to your question, why did I start Pizza Ruck? You know, I knew that if you want to have a business, uh, you have to be able to do something, like, you know, day in and day out, day after day for a long time, and it has to be something that you love, because if you don't love it, you're, you're gonna quit. And I've always been fascinated by some of the people that have started that started restaurants uh, in Taiwan. Um, Fingers, Fingers was the first you know foreign-owned restaurant in Taichung. Huge inspiration from uh, my friend, my best friend Andre, that that he started the uh, Subway Pizza Pizza, and um, I was like, like I could see myself doing that when I would when I would see what what they were doing you know and you guys all inspire me but we were chatting a while back online and that's when you sent me pictures that you have on your wall like that inspire you hmm. that motivate you and we were talking about quotes. Quotes. quotes remind yourself of those ideals of those ideas I think that it helps me to kind of keep focus on things that matter and things that are important otherwise if I don't read either books or quotes or listen to audiobooks or podcasts, I think that it's easy to just stray and stick to the, the things that are just comfortable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so for me, they've always been very important. I read quotes, like probably daily. Yeah, yeah. I write affirmation, I write stuff that after that I want to visualize daily. I, I have to give you a visit because I do the same thing and it mm -hmm. works, doesn't it? Yeah. Really well, for works. me, it works. It works for me. I've been doing that for since 2008. 2008 wow. is when I started like doing it almost daily. And uh, did you feel a shift? My, my, yeah, 
You have to. I mean, for me, I, I would write on my walls, you know, with, with a marker. But uh, for me, it's like, I want to be able to, to always have access to it. And it might seem stupid, but if it's in a book, on the bookshelf, among other books, you're, you're just not going to go there not gonna see all it. the time. But if it's, you know, right next to your computer, right above your toilet, or yeah. right next to your yeah. bed, and that's the first thing that you see in the morning, yeah. whatever it is that you want to brainwash yourself with, and it's just there so, in front of you. So he and I think it's important that it's daily yeah. and many times a day. There, but it, yeah. is, it is like brain, you're, you're brainwashing yourself to feel happy, yeah. to, to be successful. Yeah. But the thing is that it's, it's, it's a technique that's been going on, that, that's existed forever or you know, many years, hundreds of years, maybe millennia. I think it's very sad that, that some people never learn about these, te these techniques, you know, because to improve yourself, success, doing something better. I've never learned that in school. I mean, for, I've never learned that in school. They don't teach that in school. But for me, I, for me, I think I was very lucky that uh, when I was around like maybe nine or 10 years old, there were some of my aunties and my cousin, people that I, you know, my, my cousin, someone, I, my idol at, at the time. And like they were going to, to classes about positive thinking, wow. visualization. They would talk about it and they would have discussion about it. Some people were like, ah, that's bullshit. Like, that, that, this thing doesn't work. But I remember that I was like, no, I, I kind of liked the concept. And I could see how my aunties and let's say my cousin, how they would change. And I was like, wow. Well, have you considered public speaking? Because I do think you have something important to, that could be helpful to people. With, with understanding this. Like I do public speaking every day to my team. You know, every, whenever I go into a store, yeah. it's a small public, but it's yeah. still, you're, you're, you're transferring your knowledge, you're, you're trying to teach something. Yeah. As of today, we're working with 27 teams. I was watching videos on YouTube, and I was reading books to understand what you're talking about, and, mm. I, and I am living it now, but it really was a long process for hmm. me. Like I think it would be for a lot of people. Yeah, I think also like a lot of people, they start going down that way of either, you know, wanting to learn about personal development, mm -hmm. visualization and creating the life of your dream. And maybe if they don't see results fast enough yeah. and then they quit or they're just like, oh, okay, I'll just, you know, I'll do it again next year maybe or whatever. And no, it's like once you start, once you start, you, you keep doing it, yeah. you keep doing it, and it's just about having little steps, little gain, little successes, and then one more, and then one more. You're not going to have the, you know, the huge momentum kicking in right away. No. That takes years. Yeah. But so that's the thing, you have to be dedicated, you have to be uh, focused, driven. For sure you're going to fall, and for sure you're going to have someone who's going to try to stop you, yeah. There's going to be uh, blocks along the way, but yeah. and then by you know overcoming these yeah. these blocks and rebuilding yourself and standing up, then at one point the momentum starts picking up, and then oh okay it's a little bit easier, and then maybe your your team grows, more people join you, and you have more uh, resources. Did you find when the momentum starts building though that there is this like universal kind of attraction to, to what you're doing things start happening around you that help whatever it is you're trying to do sure yeah i can't really describe that phenomenon clearly but if you keep focusing always on the same thing if you keep visualizing mm -hmm. ideas and images that you want to happen so this is what i need this is what i need this is what i need there's a part of your brain yeah that will recognize things that match what you want. Well, the part of you that I, I want to acknowledge you for a second. I'm a driven person, I'm a disciplined person, but but you just, re I was kind of in a down period where I was kind of having a little bit of a, of a creative block, shall we say, and you inspired me. You were like, Cole, you can't lose if you keep going. And, and thank you for no inspiring problem. that part of me because, uh, you meet people like this and you, it makes you not want to quit, you know? What is your favorite Taiwanese food? I think it would have to be Kongro. Ah, Kongro. Kongro. 
Yeah. Not the fan, just the corn roll. Oh man, it's, <laughs> it's so bad, but so good. I love it, it's good. Even the fat, even the skin, the whole thing. Stinky tofu. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> so we're, we're the strange foreigners that enjoy stinky I'm, tofu. I'm a huge stinky tofu fan. There's a very good place up in Manjo. Yeah. Oh. One of the best in Taiwan. But I like the one in Taichung. I like the you know the bigger one, crispy with the hole in the middle, with the, the shaved yeah, cucumber, yeah. cabbage, hot sauce. Yeah. Favorite place in Taiwan? Kending is one of them, okay. which is where we are today. Uh, Ali San. Mm -hmm. Favorite city? Ooh. I'm gonna have to say Kaohsiung. I really like Jai. Jai, actually. Do you have a pizza rock in Jai yet? No, nope, not yet. Probably one day. And your favorite city in? Favorite city in yeah. Taiwan? Taichung. There's so much good stuff about Taichung. The weather, uh, people are friendly, the, the, the amount of restaurants, the, the cafes, cafe culture is, is great. Also close to the mountains, yeah. in, the, in, the, in the middle of the island where you can access the north, the south. Well, thank you for the interview thank you very and, much and for inspiring me. Thank and you. I hope to see you on the beach and I like, hope we can go for an adventure. Thank you. Please check out Taiwanese Secrets Travel and Living Guide and of course Pizza Rock. And now for a bite to eat. See you tomorrow.